So today I want to share five things that your website must have for you to make sales as an event planner, as a wedding planner, or just as a wedding pro. Hi, I'm Jodanne Rowe, founder of The Event Certificate, and I work with event planners and wedding planners to help them double their online leads. If you're struggling to get found online, just check out my website, www.eventcertificate.com. So one of the things that I know a lot of planners struggle with, especially when they're new in the industry, is how to effectively convert a website visitor to an actual client or at least to a good warm lead. Now, often when I get them and I go to their website, I realize a lot of the mistakes that they're doing. And I'm gonna share five that I find the most common and how you can fix them. So mistake number one, is not having a highly converting homepage. What do I mean by that? Well, look at it like this. Your homepage is the first place on your website that all your clients come to or potential clients, right? This is where they get the first impression about your business. Even if they're coming from social media, this is where they're gonna be learning more about you and what you can provide. So your homepage needs to be selling them the minute they land there. And one of the best ways to do that is to make sure that you have a clean, nicely designed homepage that's telling people exactly who you are and what you do and how you can help them. So when I come to homepages that are not effective, a lot of the time they will have a ton of images, multiple images overlapping, images that just have napkins or vases or flowers, but it's not really showing their services. So if you're going to use a big splash image on your homepage, ensure that you're using one of your best images, have people in it that really shows your work to a potential client. The other thing you want to do is you want to have something on there that tells people what you do and how you can help them. Now, I don't mean those generic taglines where everyone is saying, we help you turn your vision into reality and your dreams into reality. That doesn't tell a client what you're able to do. You need to say exactly what that is. I'm a wedding planner for career driven brides. That's it. You're straightforward to the point. So if I land there and this is the first thing I see, I know that I'm in the right place. Now, mistake number two is actually not having copy that's speaking to their clients. Rap, I know. <laughs> so here's the thing. I know you wrote this website. Maybe you got a designer to help you write it and you put a lot of good, pretty fluffy words on there. But all these words don't mean anything if they're not actually telling your clients what you do and how you can help them, the benefits of working with you and what they're going to get when they sign on that dotted line on the contract. So your website needs to be doing that. Your copy in every single instant needs to be saying to this person, I know that you just got engaged. Here's why you should work with us. I know that you're currently engaged. Here's why other brides have enjoyed our process. I know that you just got engaged. So here's what our packages look like if you wanna move forward, right? Your copy needs to be very specific and it needs to be speaking to your clients. And if it's not doing that, chances are you're missing out in a ton of potential leads that could be turning into bookings. Now, mistake number three, is not outlining your services well. So sometimes when I find websites that are like this and the planners are struggling, often they're trying to do everything at once. And what I mean by that is they're trying to serve everyone. So on the website, they're talking about social events that they do, birthday parties, anniversary parties. Then they're talking about corporate events and they're talking about weddings and they're talking about festivals and there's just so much going on. So if I'm a couple to like about to get married and I come to your website and I'm looking for something specific, I'm basically combing through your website to find out what service you offer that can be targeted to me that I'm looking for. And if I'm struggling to find that, I'm just going to leave and go find someone else who I hop onto their website and it says very clearly, we work with brides, we work with couples, here are packages day of coordination, full coordination. Here's how you can connect with us, right? And it's very specific to your services are outlined so well. If you're not doing that, you could be losing a ton of clients. 
Now I know, because every time I say this, I get this question, but Jody, I serve everyone and I can plan all type of events. I understand that, but you must have a focus or main type of event that you get booked for the most or that you get calls for the most. Make that your highlight or featured event and the others you can incorporate in a paragraph or somewhere else on your services page. But make sure that you're targeting your key customers. If you're selling a service and 80% of the people come into your booking weddings, but your website is dressing everyone, weddings, social events, corporate events, you're missing that 80% that could be booking you, but you're just too busy confusing them. So we're gonna fix that, okay? Now here's mistake number four. Mistake number four is not actually giving people a call to action. What do I mean? Well, they're on your website for a reason, and that's because they think that you might be someone that they could work with. So they're on your website, they're browsing around, and they're looking for options. Here's what you need to do. You need to ensure that when they're at the point where they have a question or they wanna make a decision, it's clear how they can do that. Should they click a button to schedule a call with you? Is there a phone number? Is your email address? What action do you want them to take? Do you want them to download something? Do you want them to click over to another page? That needs to be clear. So look at your call to action. Look at your buttons on your website. Are they clear? Are they working? And if, for example, you're doing event rentals, can someone actually book and rent something on your site? Or are you telling them they need to send you an email to ask how to book and what's the availability, right? You need to look into all those options because the easier it is for your clients or potential clients to be able to access your services and work with you, the easier it is for you to get more clients. It's really that simple. Now, the final mistake, mistake number five, is that you need to have images of your work. You're a wedding planner, you're an event planner, this is a very visual industry. What this means is that if someone is finding you online, they need to be able to see what you can do, especially if they've never attended an event that you've planned. You cannot be selling your services and not showing a potential client what's possible. Even if you need to host a style shoot or do something to get some images, get it done. People need to be impressed and you have an opportunity to impress them because they're on your website. So use this time to do just that. Now, if you have any questions, I want you to drop them all down below and let me know. And I'm gonna, of course, link my blog post below and the worksheet on how to actually set up a style shoot because I know some of the reasons some of you don't have a ton of images is because of that. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.